What is going on everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna tell you all about my experiences of living in Bend, Oregon for the last two to three years. So I'm gonna talk about everything I love, everything I hate, and everything in between. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating to these areas, make sure you stay tuned. I'm gonna cover a lot of different things and maybe some stuff that you didn't think about. So let's jump right in. All right, so before we jump into this video, I wanna quickly introduce myself. My name is Brett Williams. I'm a realtor with the Real Agent Now Group and we specialize in serving the entire state of Oregon. So we have people calling us, texting us, emailing us every day looking to move and relocate here. So it's, it's something that we absolutely love doing is helping you guys. Um, we serve Bend, Portland, Salem, everywhere. Um, so please don't hesitate if you have a question to uh, hit this contact info here or down below and we'll get right back to you. So let's get right into this video and I'm gonna kind of go over what I really love about Bend um, and my overall experiences. All right, enough waiting, we're jumping into the video and right away, the first thing I wanna talk about um, in my experiences of living in Bend uh, would be the weather. So that's something that really shocked me when I moved here. Bend actually has all four seasons and it's something that I really love about the area. Um, the winter, summer, spring, and fall are extremely drastically different. Um, I'm, I'm personally a huge outdoor enthusiast. I love doing a bunch of different sports. So having all four seasons allows me to kind of switch up what I'm doing. And it's honestly really refreshing because by the time the next season rolls around, you're like, oh, okay, I'm kind of tired of this activity. And I'm able to just kind of switch up and do something else. So I can mountain bike, I can fish, I can ski, and then I can also go to the river and surf. So there's tons of different things to do here. I talked about that in other videos, but it's literally unlimited amounts. Uh, for, so for me, I think the weather is something that's nice because you kind of escape the Portland weather where it's literally just summer and then rain. And there's really no in between. There is there is some seasonal stuff there and there really are, I guess, four seasons you could say, um, but it varies. Bend is definitely different in terms of that. It has all four seasons. The fall and spring are definitely um, separate from the, the winter and summer. It's something that I love. So I guess that's the first thing I kind of want to talk about um, over with my overall experience that kind of surprised me, um, but it's something that I fell in love with because it just has so much variation and I never get bored. So going on from uh, just the four seasons, I really want to talk about winter solely. So a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, always complain, Ben has the most insane winter and it's three feet of snow and you're always plowing off, plowing off the snow in your driveway and stuff like that. Um, but from, from really in my experience, it, I've had a huge storm one year here um, and it lasted for about two weeks and it was awful. I mean, it was a ton of snow. It was great for Mount Bachelor because the powder days were amazing up there. Um, but down here, it was, a, it was a lot of snow and we were having to plow everything from like your sidewalks, to your driveways, to the parking lot. So it's, it kind of sucks in that matter, but I haven't experienced anything like that except for one year. Um, from my experience, you're going to have a few snowstorms a year and that'll bring in like six inches to a foot of snow. Um, but relative to other ski towns and in general, just tourist towns in general, uh, Bend has an amazing winter. You could be in Park City uh, or Aspen or Vail Valley. All those areas have way more snow than what we have and our average temperatures are actually higher. So for what you get, you get um, pretty close access to major cities like Portland. You're three hours away from that. The winters really aren't that bad. And it's actually fun here because people go practice cross country skiing on, on the roads. They'll take out the snowmobiles. So it's a fun time when it does snow down here and it actually sticks. Um, so, so I do always hear a lot of complaints about the winters here, but uh, honestly, that's kind of what you get when you move to a ski town. So if you don't like snow, I wouldn't suggest moving here, but I find, I find it very fun. Um, and it just it just opens up a bunch of different activities that I can do. Um, but let's move on to right to the next point, and that is going to be um, the cost of living here. So the cost of living is pretty relative overall. Um, it depends if you're moving from a smaller city or a larger city and where you're moving from in the country. Uh, if you're moving from any West Coast major uh, metro area, LA, Portland, Seattle, and there's so many others, but those are the three main hotspots that move to Bend, I would say that you're actually going to find a cheaper cost of living. Uh, the housing in uh, San Fran, LA, and Seattle are definitely higher than Bend. Um, overall, obviously, there are some crazy different um, skews on that, that scale, uh, but I find it that you can find a really nice property um, starting in the three all the way up to like the six or 700,000 point. And you can find some really nice 
custom homes. Um, and so personally, I like it. I, the, the food isn't too expensive. I talked about this in other videos. The utilities are super cheap. The healthcare is cheap here. So overall, I, I really enjoy living here. You get everything that a big city has in terms of its amenities, but then you also have the quick, quick access to outdoors. Um, and there's really good entertainment here. So I actually kind of like that the cost of living isn't too cheap or too expensive. It's like right in that perfect balance. Um, and obviously jobs are growing. So that's another thing. Um, and so that's what we're gonna kind of roll into now is the jobs. So I've got a lot of friends, clients, peers, literally everything. Um, and, and, and they're moving here or they've been here and they're either looking for work or they're asking me, Brett, what, what is there to do here in Ben? What can you do? What's the industry like? I get that question so much. Um, and so from my perspective, obviously I'm in real estate. I own another small business. We're starting a clothing lineup and I'm building that up. So I kind of get to see everything. And I, I know a lot of the local business owners here. Uh, and so I get to kind of see the whole grand scheme of Ben. But overall, I would, I would put it this way. I think if you're in the health industry, you're in healthcare, you're a doctor, um, you're, you're some sort of industry in that um, category, it's gonna be a great place for you. St. Charles is a super big employer here. There's some biomedical industry stuff that is kind of coming in and it's actually bringing in a lot of jobs. And there's always, and we're always looking for different positions to be filled in those categories. Along with that, tech is starting to, is becoming really, really apparent in this market. So Sony has moved in. They have an animation studio right next to the box factory now. Uh, Facebook's in Prineville, which is just a little bit, uh, it's close to, to Bend overall. And we have people going over there and working there. And there's actually a lot of smaller agencies and uh, different SaaS companies that are moving in literally by the day. There's different stuff being built up every day and companies being built here. Um, but with remote work becoming more and more popular, I'm seeing actually an uptick in um, the tech space and tech employees coming into Bend um, because employers are kind of pushing it. They're, you can work remotely or they're moving offices into Bend because it's somewhere that a lot of people want to be. Um, other than that, there's also hospitality and then there's entertainment. So hospitality is a huge employer here. There's tons of resorts. There's Sun River, there's Risada Ranch, um, and there's a ton of, there's Black, there's so many different options. Um, but if you're in the hospitality industry, obviously Ben is gonna be a huge, huge employer um, for someone that's in your industry. So I would always keep your eye out for different job opportunities there. And if you have any questions about that, just please feel free to hit me up. Um, I know a lot of people in, in all those industries and we could probably talk about figuring out something there or at least just introduce you. Obviously we don't have a ton of retail yet. We don't have a lot of um, heavy duty entertainment like film, photo and all of that. Uh, so it really does vary in what you do and what you enjoy doing. So another thing that I think is very important to kind of talk about when it comes to moving to a new location, especially somewhere um, that's smaller like Bend, it's it's important to talk about lifestyle. Um, for me, something that's really important is work play lifestyle balance. Um, I, I love working. I love what I do. I love helping people move and sell real estate here all over Oregon but I also love playing. I love fly fishing, mountain biking. I love going on drives for sunsets and sunrise, hiking. I love spending time with, with dogs and my family. So for me, Bend offers the, the best of both. I mean, I can, I can do what I need to do. It's big enough to where there's plenty of opportunities here. Um, and I'm always busy. I'm always busy doing work and, and just kind of helping people out. But then I also can take a break and I can go five minutes down the road from where I live in the north side of Bend. And I'm on Phil's trail riding a 20 mile, 20 mile loop um, after work or before work. And so that's why a lot of people move here for. They can go on the river, they can paddle board and kayak, but then they also can go uh, and they're, they're in their office working five or 10 minutes away. It's really hard to find that in a lot of other areas just because uh, either it's too small of a town where there's no opportunities for work there, uh, or it's too big and there's just nothing that is actually out in nature um, or you're kind of stuck in bars or restaurants, which obviously Ben has a lot of, um, but you have literally the best of both worlds all around. So if you're like me personally and you really like a work play kind of balance, Ben could be a perfect, perfect place for you. Um, that's something that all my peers and clients have in common. It's, we're very, uh, you, they're very adamant about their schedule, how they plan their days and what they like doing. So if that sound, kind of sounds like something you're like, um, or that's how it kind of fits your lifestyle, then will definitely be a good place. Um, but I also now want to kind of move in and segue into food and drink because I think that's also important and it kind of ties into the overall lifestyle living in Bend. So the food and drink, I've also talked about this in other videos, but I wanted to have a video that uh, it's all about my um, personal experience and what I found. The food and drink 
culture here in Bend is amazing. Um, it goes back to the hospitality. Everyone comes in on the weekends, um, and especially in the summer and winter, and I think it's really fun because everything's packed, everyone's having fun. Um, they're going out for drinks or coffee, or they're going to the local breweries or restaurants. There's tons of different places, and I actually have a whole list of stuff I really recommend people that are either traveling or coming in or asking me about. So if you want to know and hear more about the details of where to visit and kind of like some of the local spots, make sure to hit me up. I also will have a list down below um, in the description, so hit me up. But I have a few favorites. I really love Boxwood Kitchen. Uh, I love Spokomoto. I love a bunch of the, th I love Thump Roastery, Tim Barrel Brewery, Sun River Brewery. But overall, the food and drink culture here in Bend is amazing and there's always places that are new and up and coming. Um, and it really gives you the opportunity to try new stuff. It's not too small of a town where you don't have any options and you're stuck to like Taco Bell and something other like down the street. Like it is a bigger city to where you have lots of nicer options as well as the more low key spots. So for me, that's the perfect Nirvana. I love it. Um, but now we're gonna move into our next part and that is going to be the people. So in my experience, I've personally found a lot of friends in, in the things that I like doing. So like I said before, I like the fly fishing, I like the snowboarding, I like the mountain biking. And I've made a lot of my friends by going to the shops, meeting up in some of the local groups. Um, there's a lot of people my age that like doing what I do. And so it's easy for me. And I've found that a lot of my clients and peers feel the same way about it. Um, they're, they're able to get in immediately meet someone in their age group or they like doing similar things and you just mesh well here. People are really easy to get along with. Um, overall, it's a pretty progressive area to live in, um, especially the northwest side of town. Uh, and and I, think, I think it's a pretty cool location in terms of being able to meet people that are very similar in you, very similar to you. Like if you live in a bigger city, it's hard to find those people that do exactly what you like doing. Here in Bend, it's like every person likes the same things. So you can really just kind of uh, meet people faster, you can get develop better relationships quicker, and they last forever. So if you end up moving out of Bend, you're still gonna have those people. You can come back, meet up with them, and have a great time. So now I kinda wanna talk about who I think um, would love Bend and who might not love Bend. Um, so from my experience and what I've seen personally and just basing off of myself and my experiences, the person that would like Bend is someone that, first of all, they love the outdoors, they have a pretty good uh, sense of what they like doing, uh, who they like being around with, and where they like living. So if you're coming from a place that is super hot, you don't like the cold weather at all, like you're super adamant against uh, living somewhere that has cold weather, Bend might not be the best place for you. There is gonna be a winter and fall, um, but if you live somewhere that is kind of temperate and has different temperatures and seasons, Bend could be really good for you. Um, it's awesome for every age group and from what I'm seeing. You have people that are uh, newly married, newly married with kids. You have everything in between in that. Then you have uh, retirees and then, yeah, I mean, you have the whole group. And I found that everyone actually loves it equally. Um, it's not like there's only retirees and young people and there's no one in the middle age group. That's actually not true. I find that the middle age group and up actually has the highest amount of people. So it's easiest for them to come into these communities and really establish themselves. Um, the young people are super nice here. Uh, they're very passionate about the outdoors um, and they're also easy to talk to, but they love, love, love Bend. Um, a lot of people are protective over Bend and they don't want you to kind of expose the spot, but it's already a nationally recognized city. Um, it's voted consistently as one of the best outdoor towns to live in. Uh, so if you do love all the things I kind of mentioned, Bend is going to be a really good spot for you. Um, so far, I've lived in Portland and Bend, and I work in both areas, and I love them both equally. Um, I think there's pros and cons to both, uh, but there's something really special about a small city that has a ton of charm, and it just kind of really welcomes you in when you move here. Move here. So yeah, I think that's the type of personality that would kind of really enjoy Bend overall. Um, but that's going to kind of wrap up this video today. I hope you guys were able to kind of pull some value from this and kind of understand where I'm coming from, who I think might want to live here, what it's like to live here. Obviously, it's not a vlog style video. We're just talking, but I really enjoy and I think it helps people um, that are thinking about moving or relocating to Bend when I'm able to talk to them in front of the camera. Um, so I am going to be posting way more videos from now. I'm working on a lot of content right now. And if this is your first time on the channel, please make sure you're subscribed and hit the little bell to stay notified every time I post a new video. Uh, that'll just help you to see when I post new videos and you're going to be updated right away. 
and you never know. It's always, I try to be as entertaining as possible, but also give value. So with that, thank you guys for watching. I, I really appreciate you. If you have any questions, please hit me up. Uh, all my contact, contact info is up below and down below. So I look forward to hearing from you and have a good one guys.